How to insert a border around a single paragraph and fill it with color. Hi everyone, Deborah here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a borderline all the way around one paragraph and then how to fill that paragraph with color uh, behind it within the borderline. This can be a little bit tricky sometimes because uh, borderlines, uh, you kind of have to get the hang of how to insert them. Okay, to begin the process, uh, what I'm going to do is take the middle paragraph in my document here and create the borderline all the way around it. So I'm basically making it into a text box Then I'm going to fill with color in the background behind the text. So you start by uh, staying with the home ribbon right now, okay? You don't need any other tab or, or menu choices. And the first thing that you do is you select the paragraph. And you can do this by a couple of ways, by placing your mouse in the left-hand margin until it becomes a right pointing arrow, and then just click and drag straight down until the whole paragraph is selected. Or, another way to do that is to place your mouse anywhere inside the paragraph, hold it still, and just triple click. And that will also select the whole paragraph. So once you have it selected, on the Home tab up in the ribbon, you want to go to the Paragraph Group. In the Paragraph Group in the lower right corner, there is a Borders button. So instead of clicking the actual border itself, you want to click the little, uh, what they call a carrot or a down pointing arrow over on the right hand side. So I'm going to click that. And that provides me with all the different choices I can make to create different borders. Well, I want to create an outside border. And notice that if I hover my mouse over any of these choices, you'll see a preview in the paragraph of what it will look like. So well, what I want to do is choose the outside border. So I'm going to click that and uh, then I'm going to click away just to remove the highlight. And so that's how you put in a borderline around one single paragraph. Okay, I'm going to select the paragraph again and this time I'm going to go back up to the border button and uh, if you want to make a borderline that's not a solid line like this one, you can click then at this point click Borders and Shading. And in the Borders and Shading dialog box, you can choose whatever um, style of borderline you want. So the default is, is just a very thin solid line, but you can also choose a dotted line or whatever other designs they have. There's even a double or a triple. I mean, there's lots of different ways of creating this border. So I'm going to choose this one just to make it look different. And notice it says apply to paragraph. Of course, you can choose text or uh, go into options and, you know, really get technical about it. I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to just click OK and then click away. And there is my uh, more design-oriented borderline. So now what I want to do is fill this text box with color. So I'm going to click inside the text box to place my flashing insertion point there. And then I'm going to go back to the paragraph group. Okay, I'm still on the home ribbon, the home tab. And next to the borderline button is a shading button. And so if I click the little uh, down pointing arrow to the right of the shading button, I can choose any color that I want. And as I hover my mouse over the different colors, you see the preview of what it's going to look like. Okay, so let's say I want green. Okay, and I can choose a darker green or a lighter green color. I'll choose the lighter one. And then click away and that's pretty much it. I mean, all you have to do, you don't have to click and drag to select the paragraph. Uh, all you have to do is just click anywhere inside the text box paragraph and then go back, go over to the shading 
choice and pick out whatever shade you want. And notice that when I, if I pick black, the font color automatically switches to white. Now, that really isn't true for any of these other darker colors, except for the really dark ones, like the, the navy blue, dark blue. Then it will also turn to white, but um, generally it stays black. So I'm going to click away, and uh, again, that's how you can create a text box around or borderline around a single paragraph and fill it in with color.